Hello there, Leos. Welcome to your mid-January 2017 tarot reading. Um, so the entire spread that I pulled out, all the cards are about overcoming grief and releasing. And so, you know, overall, it looks very, very good. But I feel that a lot of you are going through some major, major um, reassessment. And um, I feel like emotionally, you're, you're very destabilized right now. And so the next two weeks, it's all about picking up the pieces and moving on. And, you know, it, it's, it's easy to say, but I feel that it really does hurt you on a deep emotional level. I feel like some of you might have been dealing with a water sign. So this is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. And I feel like you, you might have thought this person was the one, you know, like at least you would have a long-term relationship with them. Or you had a lot of hopes riding on this relationship. And I feel like some new information has recently come to light where you realize they're not the one for you. There might have been some deception associated with it. And I feel like for some of you, the relationship might have ended, um, you know, a few months back and you never got the closure. And then something recently came to light sometime this month or for the next two weeks, if not already, where you have the information that you need so that you can have the closure so that you can move on. And so I feel like the information came as a big shock to some of you. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's difficult. It's, it's, um, I feel like you're emotionally destabilized as a result of it. But then it, it's, it's giving you a lot of clarity because you're looking back and you're just like, oh, now I get it. Now I know what happened. And I feel for some of you, this, if this is not something that played out in your relationship sector, I feel like it played out in the work environment. And in the work environment, I feel that it's easier to handle, mainly because that element of surprise is done and over with. Now you can move on. So one of the main things that I, I want, the, like the takeaway message from this reading here is that you are worth a lot. You know, you, you have a lot to offer another person. And a lot of it has to do with loyalty, truth, and honesty. And I feel that the other person didn't give you that. The other person couldn't give you, you know, all of these things that you value. And the other person did not live up to your expectations in terms of, like, uh, being, being loyal, being honest, and being straightforward with you. So I do feel that in that way... It would have not it wouldn't have been a good relationship, a good situation to stay in. And so with the new information that came to light, I feel that it resolved a lot of things. It made you realize that, you know, it's not like I didn't do anything wrong in that relationship. It was the other person or the other person, you know, didn't value the same things that you you did. And then I feel so for some of you, you might have thought that, oh, we're really, really compatible. But deep down, you're not. You weren't compatible with the other person. You both valued different things. And the, the, the differences between the two of you, have, you know, for this month at least, it's glaring and it's becoming obvious and it's be becoming to the point where you might, not, you might not be able to move forward with this person. So that's what I feel happening here. And, you know, it's a period of readjustment for many of you for the next two weeks. First of all, they're saying to really hang on to your values. Know your worth and don't settle for anything that is less than what you deserve. And what I do feel happening as well is um, releasing one person in order to have a more stable a more harmonious relationship with another person so that's what I feel happening as well and a lot of you might have you know taken a really long time to get to this point because you have a very strong sense of loyalty once you have shared a, a history a common you know um, a common history with another person it's hard for you to move on as well and um, I do feel, especially if it's a good person who has not done anything to hurt you, it's really hard for you to move on from it. But if the other person is not the right one for you, it's just not the right one. So you have this deep-rooted sense of responsibility and loyalty to place, objects, people, 
and work situations that might not have been good for you. So they're telling you release something in order to move on to something better. And it's going to serve you well. The next two months, once again, is going to be that whole readjustment, that whole, you know, assessing what is it that I want? What is it that I'm worth? And what is my environment giving to me that signals whether or not you know I deserve it or whether or not I deserve more and I do feel that a lot of you are no uh, you're at this point where you're no longer settling for less you're moving on to something better and it's going to be it's going to be a little bit challenging just you know um, getting yourself to that point but I do feel that it's a slow process, okay? It's not going to happen overnight. It's a slow process. But I do see this mind shift happening for you where you are going to take risks. You are going to step out of your comfort zone and you're going to go through this transformative phase and things are going to get better for you, okay? I do see end of April being a really, really good time for you to um, basically feel better, like feel feel normal again, feel happy again. Um as of right now, some of the cards in this spread, they're, they're signaling a lot of like um, a dip in self-esteem mainly. A dip in self-esteem and a, um, a, a, some kind of a uh, somber mood for some of you. I don't want to say depression because I don't feel that's what it is. But it seems like, you know, um, your health situation is not all that great. Mental health or physical health. So there's like a dip in energy, a dip in your self-esteem and a dip in, you know, the way that you're looking at the world. You're not as optimistic and as chirpy as you normally are. And so I feel like this is a transition. It's going to happen for the next two months. And by, you know, the end of April, you're going to feel a lot better. You're going to feel a lot more, you know, secure and safe. And, you know, foundationally, you're going to be in a very, very good space. Okay, so just hang in there. For those of you who are going through this, I do feel that things are going to get a lot better for you. Financially, I don't see any challenges here, but they're saying, you know, be very, very careful with extravagant spending. Don't uh, buy any big ticket items for the next few months because I feel that financially things are not as stable as they should be. But, you know, you, you have it under control. And then by April, the end of April, things will look up for you guys, okay? Uh, so just hang in there, all right, Leos? I'll be back in February for your uh, monthly reading. Take care of yourselves.